Hi and welcome to this Yano video recipe. We upload a new recipe every single day, so make sure you're subscribed to not miss out. Today, we're cooking a lentil and cashew nut roast. Before we start, take a look at the link in the description below. You can order the pre-measured ingredients to cook this recipe at home. Before you start, beat the egg in a bowl and mix the stock pot in boiling water to make the vegetable stock. Now, put a saucepan on a high heat and add the lentils, two thirds of the vegetable stock and the bay leaf. Bring everything to a boil, then reduce the heat so that it gently simmers. Leave this to cook for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. When it's done, the liquid should all be absorbed. While the lentils cook, put a saucepan on a medium heat and toast the cashews. Once lightly browned, roughly chop the nuts and set to one side. Now preheat the oven to 190 degrees. Put the pan used for the cashews back on a medium heat and add the oil. Add the onion and cook for around five minutes. Set half of the onions to one side, you'll be using them for the sauce. Now add the red pepper, mushrooms, garlic and leek. Stir and cook everything for another five minutes until it's all tender. Stir in the lemon juice. Take the cooked lentils, pour into the mixing bowl and remove the bay leaf. Add the vegetable mix, breadcrumbs, cashew nuts and most of the parsley. Give everything a thorough mix. Add the egg and cheese, season to taste and give everything a final mix. Take a lined loaf tin and pour in the mixture. Lightly grease a piece of tin foil and place it on top to prevent it burning. Bake the loaf for 30 minutes, then remove the tin foil and bake for a further 30 minutes. While the loaf is baking, put a saucepan on a high heat and add the remaining vegetable stock, chopped tomatoes, onions, paprika, tomato puree and mixed herbs. Bring the sauce to a boil then reduce the heat to a gentle simmer for 20 minutes until the sauce has reduced slightly. Stir in the remaining parsley before removing from the heat. When the loaf has finished baking, remove it from the oven and leave it to set in the tin for 10 minutes. Cut the loaf into generous thick slices and serve with a big dollop of the reduced tomato sauce. You may have made a large loaf, but it will soon disappear. Trust me. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video. We upload a new recipe every single day, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out.